Hello everyone, in this video we are taking a look at the benefit of putting more power into your shields. I did this before but this time I want to test a few more shields, size 1, size 2 and size 3 shields. I find it very important to talk about this again because I myself forgot one thing about putting power into shields. We have a Cladius with two size 1 all stops, Hurricane with one size 2 full stop and Starfarer with one size 3 stronghold. We are taking a look how long it takes to go from zero to full shields in neutral with 50% power to shields and with full power to shields. Especially 50% power to shields is quite interesting because we have ships like Ares Inferno that don't need any power to their weapons so they can have 50% power to shields all of the time. If you are putting more power into your shields, you get a shield hardening effect, at least this is what CIG called it. So you should take less damage with 50% power to shields and even less damage with full power to shields. Let's find out how much. Gladius, neutral settings, one size one missile. Shields, 14. 50% shields, one size one missile. Shields, 20. Full power to shields, one size one missile. Shields 36. Hurricane, shields neutral, 1 size 3 missile. Shields 44. Hurricane 50% power to shields, 1 size 3 missile. Shields 48. Full power to shields. One size three missile. Shields, hit. shields fifty eight. Starfarer shields neutral. Three size five. Torpedoes. Shields eleven. Fifty percent power to shields. Three size five. Torpedoes. Shields, 12. Full power to shields, 3 size 5. Torpedoes. Shields, 14. And here we have our result. If you are putting more power into your shields, your shields will regenerate much quicker. By the way, the region rate you can find on sites like Aircule is the region rate for full power to shields. 
If you have less than full power to shields, your regen rate will be much slower. And it's quite hard to get exact numbers for size 3 shields because the Archie made it so that full shield phase is 25 and not 100% like it was before. I hope they will change this. Still, this is very constant through all the shield sizes. I call this a match. And what happens to shield damage taken when you are putting more power into your shield? If you are putting more power into your shield, you are taking less shield damage and it's very constant through all shield sizes. Again, it's hard to get good numbers. I mean, you have like 11%, but it might be 11.4. So it's hard to tell. Still, I call this a very good match through all the shield sizes. Again, this is very interesting for ships like Inferno. You can just put 50% power to shields all of the time and you get a nice damage reduction to your shield damage. So conclusion is, if you are putting more power into your shields, they will regenerate much quicker. And if you are putting more power into your shields, you will take less shield damage. Up to around 25% less shield damage. And again, CIG is using an oversimplified power system. Let's assume I am coasting, so I'm not using my engines, I'm not using my guns, power settings are at neutral, I take shield damage. Why should only 33% of the power be used to regenerate my shields if I don't use the other 67% of the power at this time? Where are those other 67% going? but I don't use my engines or weapons. Answer, I guess, into a black hole. I think this should work more like a differential axle if you have excess power at this point in time because you are not using your engines, you are not using your guns. Why not just pipe this excess power into shields even if your power setting is at neutral? This would make a lot more sense. I hope you found this interesting and informative and see you next time. Bye. Auf Wiedersehen. Hey, you are still here. You might want to join me on Twitter. My Twitter account is Camoral underscore SC.